first, we need to tackle another addiction. This one makes headlines. It's about a lot of people who are out there cheating on their spouses. And the media is calling them sex addicts. They're calling themselves sex addicts. So the question, is this a real addiction or is sex addiction just an excuse? I mean, look, look in the media. Elliot Spitzer's yeah. one. Oh, Russell yeah. Brand. <laughs> Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. Jesse yeah. James, these are men yeah. who've all come out and said, look, I'm, I'm addicted to sex. And I think some of it's an excuse, but we're trying to also figure out in the you know, psychological realm what is real and what's not. Because when you take anything to the point of actually hurting yourself mm -hmm. um, and going beyond those boundaries where you see that it's wrong and you still are doing it, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your health, whether you're doing unprotected sex, so yes. you're you know, potentially, you know, could kill yourself. Because, mm -hmm. Um, then maybe point. it is an addiction. What, what is a true addiction? Yeah. Something that you're doing that potentially is dangerous or mm -hmm. bad for your health. Yeah, right. well, it's you definitely tend... bad for your marriage. <laughs> yeah. And you tend to need a, a persisting or even escalating behaviors. You know, you, you try it once and you need more and more and more and more crazy things. These and, are men and that's... that are promiscuous. Well, These are men that can get away with it. Well, These are you're men. right. It has it's to do with power thing. and pushing the limit and it's, it's, that being on the edge thing. Addiction. All of those things go hand in hand. Well, I think exactly. we could all agree that someone may feel like they have an addiction to sex, but it's not an excuse.